Sabar, tell me how you got into this job. Did, did you choose to be an executioner? This job has been in our family for generations, since the colonial times. My great-grandfather, my grandfather, my father and my uncles were all hangmen. It's just a part of our family. There's been a moratorium on the death sentence for about seven years, since 2008 until late 2014. And if your job is to hang people, what were you doing all these seven years? I have just been at home for the past seven years. I used to just go to the jail every day, sign in and out, and then go back home. Tell me what it was like hanging someone for the first time ever. How did you feel? I didn't feel anything. I was not there alone. There were almost 50 jail officials there at the gallows. I had only seen one hanging before. That was done by my father. It was him who taught me at home how to tie a noose properly. The superintendent of the jail reassured me and said that there is no reason to get confused or to be anxious. He gave me the signal I pulled the lever and opened the trap. It was only after when I looked that I saw the person hanging. It was a matter of seconds. When you receive an order for execution, how do you prepare for that? How do you prepare yourself for that, but also how do you prepare a prisoner for that? For me, the only preparation is that I have to reach the jail on time. I receive a letter or a call from the jail authorities who inform me that I am needed urgently at a certain jail in a certain city. I wait for the prisoners at the gallows with the news ready, but I don't talk to them. Tell me more about putting the noose around someone's neck, putting that dark cloth over their face. When you do that, what are you thinking? There is nothing much going through in my mind other than the fact that we have three minutes to get the hanging done. So I just try to get it done as quickly as possible. Tell me, when you go on the day of the execution and the prisoner is there and they're getting ready to be hanged, what do they do? What do most prisoners do before they get hanged? I feel if someone has committed a crime, they are quite calm. But the ones who feel that they are innocent, they keep asking for forgiveness. They try that till the end. I can see their facial expressions and I can tell what they are feeling. Some can barely walk to the gallows. Was there something that someone did before they got hanged that you still remember? There were two convicted militants who were to be hanged together. They came to the gallows and hugged, reassuring each other. The older one said to the younger one, don't worry, I can already smell paradise from here. They said hang us quickly as virgins are waiting for us. Some people would see your job as cruel because you put people to death. Others would see your job as serving justice. How do you see your job? It is just a job for me. Those people are in jail because they are convicted under the law. They have been there for years and gone through the process. Putting them to death is what I have to do. It's my duty. Sabar, tell me, when, when you go home at the end of the day, after having hung some one person or even more, what goes through your mind? What, what do you think about before you go to bed? Do you, do you think about those people? No, I don't think about them at all. There's nothing to think about. I have a hobby that I love. I breed roosters for cockfighting. Most of the time, I can't wait to get home and make sure they're okay.